Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Okay guys, we are up in the game room this morning because the McDill Air Force Base in Tampa is supposed to be doing a flyover today to honor frontline workers and they're flying over the hospitals, which the hospital is quite a ways that way. But I was hoping that maybe we'd be able to see something, so we're just gonna kinda wait and see if we can. I'm up in the game room because I figured that we figured higher up maybe I'd be able to see it. It's a beautiful day right now, but it is supposed to storm later. There's like a tropical system or something out there. So we're gonna hang out here for a few minutes, see if we see any airplanes. I don't see anything. Uh, not yet. I'm a few, it's, that way. I'm it's supposed to be a few more way. minutes. They were gonna do it later, like in an hour, but oh, I um, they did a, a time. They did a time change because it's supposed to rain later. Yeah, so. that one? That's a bird. <laughs> Chelsea's looking. Is that? Oh, is that a helicopter? Yeah, that's a helicopter. Not, not quite what we're looking for. Um. <laughs> She's got her binoculars ready. Look in the window. It's supposed to be here any minute, but I still, some people said it was flying really low and you could barely see it over the trees, so. You guys can see, I think that's the news helicopter flying. He keeps going back and forth and back and forth, so I think he's probably waiting for them to come through. Okay guys, today's quarantine challenge is straw wrapper challenge. So we're gonna see who can blow the straw wrapper the furthest. We're gonna get the measuring tape. Okay, so for those of you who have been watching for a while, or for those of you who haven't or, or don't know, we use reusable straws. And anytime I go through the drive-thru, I'll tell them no plastics, no straws, no forks, none of that stuff, um, because we use reusable. But there's always those times where they'll still stick one in the bag. I think it's just that's what they're used to. So I save them because I figure we'll use them eventually maybe for something like this. I figured to make it fair, we'll have all the straws or maybe we can each choose our own. But like choose all, your, all choose from, your own. can you tell we go to Wendy's? Wendy's, 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 Wendy's. I figured they could like all be from Wendy's but then like choose your weapon. Like choose which one you want. And that way, cause all these wrappers are the same, where some of these are a little thinner or a little longer. So okay. to make it fair. Choose your straw. Choose your straw. No, that's mine. <laughs> she goes to <laughs> No, I, that's a winner. But keep in mind too, sure. some of them have little bends and like little tips, so you'll want to inspect. Chelsea just said, what are we supposed to do? And I realized Chelsea doesn't know how to blow a straw wrapper. We've never taught her. What kind of parents are we? <laughs> we don't really use them. So I guess we need to do a practice one for Chels. Maybe practice with one of the non-Wendy's ones. And then blow it really hard. And then blow it really hard. Woo! Just got it. <laughs> There's your tutorial. So we decided stand at the crack of the couch. So that's got our starting long point. Long shot if you can. Blow hard. Long <laughs> shot. Pretty hard. All the way down the hallway if we could. And, obstacles. and the, we have obstacles such as the pillars. So you gotta try to block the obs and uh, evidently a Chelsea that's gonna jump out and <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. Okay, right to the end. All right. 244 and a half. 244 and a half. 224 and a half. 224 and a half. 224 and a half. Final answer. Blow hard. Oh! <laughs> it did a U turn. Oh no! So, so you said yep, go about here. there. So. 149, 149. 150 somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> it went. Ready? Yep. Go. Oh, you did the U-turn thing too. Oh, wow. So I am at. Wait a minute. How is that 115? I pointed out we had the measuring wrong. So Chelsea's was. Measure backwards. Yeah. So Chelsea's was not 149. Chelsea's was more like. 77, I would say, somewhere in there. Yours is about a 109, maybe? Mm, 109, 110. Okay, best of three. Three rounds. So it's whoever gets the longest, no matter what wins. Okay. Oh! oh that landed.
ended right where my last one was. That stunk. Well, maybe well, a little. I got a good one on my first 113, one. 113, I'd mm -hmm. say. Real hard. Oh, pretty good. Ooh. So she got up to a 120 now. All right, right, 120 next to Chelsea. Oh no! Where are you going? Whoa, I don't know how it ended up all the way over uh, I'd say probably a 101. 103. Oh, whatever. <laughs> all right, third and final. Ah. Oh, right back, almost right back where it was. No, uh, not even as uh, far. 99, maybe. Ouch. Here, let's see, it's about right, yeah. 99, we'll give you 100. Okay, Chelsea's final try. Make it a good one. Whoa! Wow! Whoa. wow. I'd say 181. 181. Woo! Nice! And the last blow of the night. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out like what's the best way, like aerodynamic to I don't to think do there this. is. It's just all luck. So I'm gonna have the seam of the paper be down. See if that helps. Oh, like a little tail. Oh. Uh, well, at least I'm not across the room. 121? No, wrong side. Where are One. you measuring? Where are you measuring? What do you mean? Oh, you said the shortest. <laughs> I forgot. 121. Yeah, 121. And the totals are, which we already know, I won. Michael. Michael in first place with 430. Seven inches. Inches. Chelsea came in second place at 378, and I came in last at 333. <laughs> you got you beat mommy. That one was really that last one that she did. She got yep. the hang of it, and she was like, "Heck yeah!" Well, you got a prize. You get a prize. I, I get guess. a prize. I, don't know I bet it it's is. a Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> the winner. That's your gold medal. <laughs> Okay, so mommy, mommy ordered something for Chelsea and it came today and I'm really excited about it, but I have to explain something. This item is kind of hard to get without spending quite a bit more than like it's valued. I know what right? it is. <laughs> because you can see it. Well, no, when so, you said that, then it triggered, oh, oh I know what that is. Um, so this is something I've been trying to get for a long time. This is the original Fine Chaffee book. Now, it's not in perfect condition because it is used. Um, I got it on eBay and I just opened it and I was like, oh, I was kind of hoping it would be in a little better shape, but mainly it's just like the front and the back are just kind of like bent on the edges and stuff like that. So this book we used to get from the library time after time and check it out over and over again. And I have the second version, Fine Chaffee Now, that I had bought Chelsea a long time ago off of eBay. Um, but I got this one. I'm glad I got it for a really good price. <laughs> and it, like I said, it's not in perfect condition, but it's something she's been wanting. She's obsessed with Chaffee. Um, it's kind of like a Where's Waldo type thing where you have to find all the little Chaffees in the pages. It's really big in like the UK and Australia. So if you guys are from there, you probably know Chaffee, but we never knew until we found it at our library by some odd chance. And I was even going to go to our library and ask them, like, can we buy this book? Because we were so obsessed with it. So now we have both of them. We have the first one and find Chaffee now. Did you find them yet? No. Oh, we will. This is one of those books that we do together almost every night before bed because she's so obsessed with it. So I was like, I've got to get that. Now, in the UK and Australia, they also sell like, have like plushies, like Chaffee plushies and other Chaffee, like it's a big thing, kind of like, you know, Hello Kitty or whatever, Mickey page? Mouse here type thing. This page kind of feels familiar for some reason. Well, we've, this is the same book we used to get from the library, <laughs> but now we own it. I got it for you off of eBay. Now why do it look familiar? <laughs> what you making? We're making stuffed chicken. Stuffed chicken. So one of the recipes that Michael found recently, well, yep. since the beginning of the quarantine, I guess, is when you found it, um, is a stuffed chicken. It's got spinach, 
and oh, what? I forgot. cream cheese. Cream cheese. Yep. Garlic. A little bit of parmesan. Parmesan. Oh my gosh, you guys. The spices that go on top of the chicken. Oh, it's like my favorite thing. I told him I could eat that like every day and I'd be all right by that. What do you think, Chels? I like mayonnaise. You got all kinds of stuff on your face, girl. You're so funny. So Chelsea is gonna help make dinner tonight. And here's our rain. Although it wasn't much of a storm. In fact, there was there was nothing. Oh, there's like, a few thunder. I think I heard it rumble, yeah, in the distance. But now it's just like a drizzly rain. Just a little bit ago, you're like, oh, we're getting rain. No. <laughs> well, yeah, but this isn't really nothing. Okay, what? Uh, yeah, it's raining out. Have fun. Can you stand out on the porch? I know, but I could stand out in the house. Okay. <laughs> oh no. I bet it's probably cold. Feel it. Oh yeah, it's cold. It's blowing on me. Can I go play out in the rain? And she stands on the porch. Yeah. I need to go rescue that ball. Okay, I go rescue him. I think he needs rescuing. <laughs> <laughs> 